what's going on y'all <clears throat> it's your boy turn them wheels today i'm in the silverado truck i want to show y'all this new scan tool i got it's actually a uh, bi-directional scan tool the uh, company is x tool d8 bt as in the uh, d8 bluetooth uh, i paid for this out of my own pocket as i did not have a uh, bi-directional scan tool and i've been wanting to have one to be able to look at all the different modules and everything on a vehicle and to pull more live data and everything so i just wanted to show you all this uh it does have auto scan it will pull your vin number and it will start looking at all the modules and computers and electronics within the vehicle to where like you can start seeing like the window switch the sunroof you can start testing everything within the body control module engine control module fuel pump control module the list goes on and on i don't want to bore you to death uh, but this one, it has a lot of special functions because uh, <clears throat> I was looking at like Autel, uh, what's the other one, Creator, Launch. There's a lot of scan tools out there nowadays, Snap-on. Uh, but like the main competitors right now is like Autel and then a lot of these other little ones. Uh, but X-Tool, I think in my opinion, it's a good bang for the buck, middle of the road. Uh, you know, not too expensive, but not too cheap, you know. They have a wired version. I think it costs $6.99, but I wanted to get the Bluetooth. That way I can be in front of the vehicle or at the rear of the vehicle and control different things, purge solenoid, uh, <clears throat> vent valve solenoid, different stuff that I, you know, you want to test and you don't want to be tethered up to a cable, to a OBD2 uh, cable. So that's why I chose X-Tool. It also comes with three years of updates. And then after that, it's going to be $200 per year. Now, like Autel and these other companies, Snap-on, I think it's like $750 or $800 a year per year to get the license to cover uh, all vehicles and makes and models. Uh, this X-Tool, it honestly has like a lot of manufacturers, models, Asia, America, Europe. It, it has a lot of different makes and models. So, I mean, I think this is a great scan tool for what it is being $700. Um, but you can do the oil reset uh, on these Chevy trucks and GM trucks and, you know, SUVs. It's real easy. You just, uh, you put the keys in, turn it to accessory, and then you press down the gas pedal. But for some vehicles, you have to do get an oil reset. Uh, you, if you clean up your throttle body or if you get a new throttle body and you need to do an idle relearn, this tool can do it. Uh, this truck does not have an electronic parking brake, but some of these newer vehicles, the trucks on the rear axle, for the calipers uh you'll need a tool to put it into maintenance slash service mode so in some of the cars you know you'll need that too sas that's a steering angle sensor you know if you ever go get like suspension work and it throws a code for a steering angled sensor circuit or something out of whack uh then that's probably going to be your issue and you have to get it reprogrammed so this tool can do it uh, key programming, I haven't tried it yet on this truck. I do plan to get a Boost Auto Parts key fob. It's like a, they either have a 2015, I believe, or they have a 2020 model. Uh, but this tool, it shows you can do, you could program the actual key or the key fob remote. On a lot of different makes and models, it does do some smart keys and non-smart keys. Instrument cluster, you can actually change the mileage uh, from a lot of the videos and uh, a lot of forums I've been uh, looking into. On this GM truck, you cannot do it, but some other vehicles, you can reset the mileage. Gearbox match, uh, I'm not too sure what all that does. The BMS, that's something for like the battery module system. For like BMWs and other high-end cars, like whenever they get low on charge, uh it'll the alternator will send less voltage and stuff like that so whenever you get a brand new battery you want to reset that on those high-end cars injector coating that's for certain injectors on certain cars dps i mean uh, dpf that's like the diesel particulate filter gear learning that'll learn the gears tire pressure monitor system reset Power balance, that will check, uh, shut off some of the injectors one at a time. So you can kind of troubleshoot, see how the engine's doing. Language change, of course. Transport mode, I guess some of these newer cars, they come in a transport mode. That way the uh, driver on the hauler, he doesn't go crazy or whatever. Rain or light sensor, this drug doesn't have it. Uh, but some cars, you know, it might need that. Or it could very well be that little sensor on the dash over there. I, I don't know if that's it. 
AF resets. I'm not sure if that's like the air fuel ratio reset. HV battery, it's like for the hybrid systems. FRM, I'm not sure. Tire upgrade on this truck, it's not letting me change the tire size because I have aftermarket 33, 12 and a half, 20s. And on this truck, all it lets you do is change the tire type and change the pressure. Headlight, I guess it has certain functions. On this truck, it doesn't do anything, but you can go into the body control module and you can uh, do the bi-directional controls on all the, everything up front on the headlights, low beam, high beam, turn signals, hazards. Suspension, I guess some cars with the electronic suspension. Seat match, uh, I'm not too sure about that one. E, e prom. From my own gathering of information, it seems it's something you can add software on certain cars. ECU configuration, uh, I think if you get a new ECU, then you can configure it and also reset it. ABS bleeding, a lot of these newer cars, you, can, uh, you have to bleed the ABS for the uh, front and rear brakes, and you'll need a scan tool. Speed limit, I believe on some cars, it can uh, remove the speed limit. On this truck and GM trucks and Tahoes, it will not do it. I believe it's in the uh, the GM software, not on the scan tool side. Clutch adaptation, stop start reset. This truck, thank God, does not have the stop start, but that would uh, reset it on some vehicles. I don't I don't know if it would be able to turn it off. Possibly. EGR relearn, AC relearn, SRS. I believe that's for the airbags. Windows initialization, uh, I've tested that. That will be able to test your window, see if it's a switch or the motor, see what's going on. VGT relearn, not familiar with that one. Airbag reset, ADAS, that's for like the uh, the radar crews, like behind the rear view mirror to where it'll stop for you and hit the apply the brakes for you. Let's see. Like I said, there's always updates. I've noticed there's always updates on this thing. Like almost every day. If you have a problem, you reach out to X Tool Customer Service and they will provide an update to figure out what's going on and they'll patch it and either put it in a beta version or they'll put it in a new software for everyone to get it fixed. And then you go into more. You can get an endoscope. You can reach out for help right here. Also, they can remote control into your device if you're having issues. Uh, you can send reports by like a PDF and email, or you can also print it out. So that's really cool. So, so far, I really recommend this thing, guys. Uh, if you're looking to get into a bi-directional scan tool and not just a basic scan tool, you know, you're looking to, to move on, then that's what I'm gonna recommend. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you can uh, comment, subscribe.